Welcome back to primetime, everybody. We are here for more Enshrouded. And you know what? I really, I'm really liking this game. I'm having fun with it. It is a cool take on the survival action RPG genre. It is really pretty looking. It's got a lot of cool things going on with it. And I'm having a ton of fun with it. So we started out, we are, we are a flameborn. We're basically, we've been through some medical procedures. We've been through effectively, uh, what is it? Project Rebirth or whatever from Captain America, because we are now, uh, we, we are immune to this thing called the shroud that has taken over the land after the humans were dug too greedily and too deep in search of their precious, precious elixir. And the mist poured forth. So they created the Flameborn with the help of the of another race called the Ancients. And they sealed us away before literally everybody died. Q, I don't know how many years later, we all come out, or at least I do, I come out. And we have been tasked with rebuilding the world, basically, from the ruins and the corrupted that have been infused with the Shroud and have been transformed. So we started building. We built a house. It's got a bed. It's got a stove. And I can make food in it. Uh, we also went out and found the blacksmith and woke him up from his chamber as well. We built him a house. And he can make stuff and do things for me. And you know what? I also... I, I got a wingsuit. I'm a squirrel. It's really awesome. It's cool. I haven't crashed yet. I figured that's only a matter of time. Uh, and we also beat our first boss uh, because there are definitely bosses in this game that guard basically, um, I think they're called Shroud Roots, something like that. But there, there's something that actually produces the mist. And so we actually destroyed the boss and the root. And then all of a sudden, hey, there's less mist around here. There's still a lot sh of Shroud out, but there's less now. So... Um, we're going to keep looking around, explore, and see what we can figure out, what we can find, and uh, hopefully make some more progress. So let's go ahead and get started. Dig right in. But yeah, I'm totally having fun with this game. It's really good. Um, it's currently in early access on Steam. Um, I They did a relatively large update today. I didn't see everything that was in it, unfortunately. So I don't know everything that's there. Um, looks like they're primarily focusing on... Okay. I guess they're working on stability issues primarily is what they're, what they're focusing on. Um, they also, I guess... Changed how the content resets. I don't know what that means exactly. If that means like things like the bushes and shrubs I need to get um, to get fiber reset after a while. I'm not sure how that goes, but oh, whoa. OK. Oh, that was OK. Uh Oh, that's right. I think there we go. Oh, OK. It's taking a while to load. Jesus. OK. Well, this is my character. I'm a sword and a shield that floats in midair. Makes it really hard to hurt me because I'm just an inanimate object. Oh, oh, there I am. Cool, there I am. Here's my house. It's very basic, but it works. It does It does what I need to do. This is the blacksmith's house. He's just kind of hanging out because, sure. I don't think he can make anything for me. I think I've, I think I've got everything I can need to make for him. Oh, wait, no, do I need to make? I need to make a forge still. Um, because I didn't, I didn't make a forge. Um, so I don't know. I think maybe first thing we want to do is maybe get some more of the stuff around here going in terms of like setting up. Like I need to get some charcoal, um, which means I need to get some dirt, I think. And I also need to get some wood. So, uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shit. Things did reset. This, um, what was this? Uh, flint. Is that what this was? I think this was Flint. Yeah, Flint. So this this apparently does reset. I don't know what the timing is on it. But it's nice that I can get more. Boom. Um, let's see. Um 
Let's let's not get stuck in the hole. That would be good. Um, <laughs> I need more dirt. Oh, hey, I found stone. I wonder if I can dig to China. Like, I'm I'm mildly curious if there is like a spot that I can dig to. And I also realize that that's just in a really bad spot. You like can't put my house and stuff like that, so uh there. Like is there a bad Oh! More flint, I think, maybe. Yay, Flint! Like, if I dig straight down, do I hit bedrock? Are there caves? Actually, I probably want to, like, figure out how to get out of here before I, like, fall deep. Oh, there we go. Okay, that just happened. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right. So, what do I need? I need dirt and I need wood. Do I need like what kind of wood do I? Okay, so I actually need logs. Time to make a seven days to die mine tunnel downwards. I mean, that that could be absolutely what we do. I don't think it's wise, Neon, but we could absolutely do it. Um, I think my wood is in here. I built myself a little box. That's bone. Wait, do I not have any wood right now? Did I, like, convert it all into blocks? I must have. I, I clearly did. Um, wait, what's that? Shroud wood. Um, yeah, I don't have any... I don't have any wood! Does anyone have any wood I can borrow? Wood logs. Dirt. Okay, so it just automatically does it. All right, that's cool. Hmm. So if it takes five minutes to make fifteen charcoal, okay. So this is going to be very much a thing that you you go you do put stuff in there and then go back and go like do other stuff. So. Um, what else can we do in terms of, like, crafting and building stuff? Um. Because we've got our hammer, we can absolutely build more house stuff, but... Is there anything else we need to do? Do we want uh, arrows? That's fine. We've got clubs and stuff. I think that we we kind of... Well, we should probably make some more string. We make some more bandages. Those bandages are good. Um, maybe I need to talk to you for more stuff. Yeah, I think I need to talk to him. All right, so we need to be able to make some more... And better armor. So we need cloth, fur, string, metal scraps. We got to go foraging for some of this stuff. So it might take a little bit for us to do this. Um, we need more metal scraps for this. So I think actually what we need to do is we need to go look for things to actually um, build some of this stuff. So we're, we're kind of missing supplies is our big problem. So I'm going to make some food. Real fast. And uh, then we're going to go hunting for things. Cool. Let's go ahead and eat some betas. Let's start wandering in the direction of our new objective and see if that gets us some of the things we're looking for. The, the ancient spire. Geronimo! Oh. Wee! 
I'm never gonna get tired of that. Because this is where I died, is to these dudes up here. Also, I don't know what just killed that thing, but... I'm kind of worried. Oh, it's a wolf. Got it. Stupid wolf. Bad wolfy. All right, now, what was... C was crouch. Maybe I just wander over and, like, stealth something. Oh, that's, that's a couple of guys. Okay. So, how am I going to get to them? The, the big dude kind of scares me with the with the two twin pickaxes. They're looking a little, you know, twitchy. Um. Okay, let's go. Ow. I'm gonna eat a berry. No! No, sir! Please don't kill me! That's very mean! No, no, no! Oh god, I got moved into between them. I'm a little scared to try the parry. Got him. Okay, these guys killed me the last time I tried coming through here, and it was very scurry. Metal scraps! Nice, I need those. Do I get more? Hush. Hey, Vandy, how you doing? Oh, hello. Boom. Ah! Oh, okay. The thing that popped up over there kind of spooked me for a second. I'm, I'm very, I'm a very brave boy. Oh, what the freak saw me? Oh, hi! Oh! Very nice. Doing good? I'm, I'm doing pretty nice. I am enjoying my time back here in Shrouded, because this is a really cool game. Survival Flask. What does that do? Two plus two minutes maximum time in the Shroud. Very nice. Very nice. Um, okay. All right. I'm happy with that. I also got myself another grenade. Hello. I'll take the elixir. Or, well, Mysterious Flask. The Elixir, a flood of woe. It's a formula I do not quite grasp, grasp, sophisticated beyond imagination. I'm not surprised to know that the source of this recipe is otherworldly. Created from the flesh of these tiny, delicate fungi growing deep beneath the earth, it grants power. Yet when I look at this flask, worry fills my heart. This will never be a cure. This will always be a weapon. Perhaps the ancients wanted to hide this for a reason. Balthazar. Okay, um... Oh, so, like, the elixir is basically what destroyed this this land, because it after they went in to grab the elixir, um, the shroud came up after them. So, I don't know where the shroud exactly came from. Maybe that came from the mushrooms, too? Oh, hi. Someone's shooting at me. Someone's got one of those ballistas, it sounds like. They be coming for me. The twin size sickle is a neat idea compared to dual blades. It's definitely more interesting flavor-wise, Kirby. Like, this game is, does some really cool stuff. I like its ideas. It's still got a ways to go, I think. Oh, what the fuck? That's, that's an explosion. Oh, God. Ah, run! Oh, God, it's a bitch! Ah! No! No! I stepped on a bird trip and it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Are you happy now, Thrall? My leg got chomp chomped. Yes, it did. Very much chomped. All right. We're going to get him. We'll get my stuff. And then we're going to go find things. I think that this is good enough to hide. Uh, oh, hello. I smell opportunity. Oh, that's, that's, that's... That was problematic! <laughs> but that was cool. Okay, so apparently if you're in a bush and you shoot an arrow, um, it, it hits the bush? That was kind of weird. I don't know if that was a bug or if that was intended, but it happened. Oh, somebody. Oh, here comes somebody. Oh, there's somebody shooting me. Isn't I thought I saw someone shooting me. Yeah, there is somebody shooting me from up there. That little bastard. Somebody else! Not fair! Gotcha. Alright. Uh, the good news is I'm going to level up very, very soon. Thank you. Ooh! Provisional sight. Very cool. I need to make more arrows. Oh, I did not mean to eat that. Whoops. Ow. I'm also going to drink some water, get more stamina. And we're going to use a bandage just to get some more health back. One nice thing I do like about this is that health um, recovery seems to be based on percentages, at least for bandages. This critical. It's nighttime. Um, I need to make some more arrows before I like run out. <laughs> Ten arrows, three twigs. Sure, we can get more twigs easy enough. Uh, let's see, what do you got on you? Nice, more metal scraps. I need that. Wow, it is really friggin' dark in here. I'm about, I'm thinking I'm like gonna stub my toe or something. Jesus. Do I have a torch? I do have a torch. Oh no, it's a basement. Oh god. There's no way this ends well for me. Or explosives. Metal scraps, thank you. I don't know, did we go downstairs? This seems kind of dicey. Last time I went downstairs, I walked into a friggin' explosive. Alright, downstairs it is, folks. Ah! It's a dude! Um, E. No, hit it. Got him! Oh, he glows. <laughs> F 
flint arrows. Okay. Slightly enhanced version of the wooden arrows reinforces small pieces of flint at the tip. All right, well, how much? They do eight damage versus how much do the regular arrows do? How much of an up are we talking? Oh, yeah, that's, like, almost not even worth it. Water! Oh, nice. I like how you can repair torches. In so many games, you cannot repair torches. You're just kind of stuck with either, you know, with them just breaking down. Thank you. I should have enough stuff to make some of that armor after I'm done with this, I think. That's more water, cloth. Take some of that. I also love that there's no weight. It means I can just go around and do whatever. Oh, it's a chest. So we guard in the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Potent staff capable of guiding those who would otherwise be without protection. Staffs can cast spells by using spell charges and mana. Equip spell charges to cast. Okay. We haven't done any spell casting yet. More metal scraps. Ooh. A cold reception. We've arrived at Rookmore, finally out of the Shrouded Lands. It was a difficult journey from the mountains. I'd hoped for a field hospital here, but there's almost nothing. I must take matters into my own hands, as I did at the front. I'll set up camp in Woodguard. I assume that this is from before, because, like, everybody's dead as I understand it. Oh god, it's Bob! Okay, so sometimes these things are trapped. Good to know. Also, it appears like everything in this game is destructible, which is really cool. Not gonna lie. Ah, hi. Uh-huh. I'm getting better at the parries. God, I'm so close. So close to another level. Uh, Provincial Scythe, level three. Oh, are these... How strong are these? 14. 16. All right, my sword's a little bit better, but not by much. Ooh, patch. Anything I want to get rid of? Get rid of the second torch. Don't need two of those. I'm not sure what I could do with the scythe. Anything in here? Nope. Not a, not a mooch. Very. Um. Okay, nothing here. All right, there is a crossbow guy that I saw over here. Or ballista dude. I don't know. I hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ouch. I caught one on the chin for that. Ow. Wish I could take his weapon. His weapon looks dope. More metal. Very nice. Some twigs. I think I'm almost done looting this camp. I think we're we're pretty much done here. Nice a chest. Explosive powder ball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Uh oh. Oh. Hello. I can just shoot that, I think. Yeah! Got boom skis. Oh, or, or that did nothing? Aha! Aha! So what the hell is up here? Ooh! 
More explosives! Cool, and a house that somebody appears to be in. Oh, um... I don't have any lockpicks. Damn, I should have gotten some. Is there a back door? No? Alright, we're gonna want to come back to this. Clearly, we want to go into here and get into the locked house. Mean, you know, yeah, but, but in the meantime, let's head on back to camp. Squirrel! Alright, so let's go talk to our... Actually, you know what? Uh, no, no, we won't make it daytime yet. Because we're going to go do stuff, and I don't want to, like, waste daytime by, like, not doing things, or by working on this. So we need the charcoal from the kiln, and that's all we need to make that. So what do we need for the first stuff? We need string. 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 So we just need, like, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine string to do this. Do we have enough to make nine string? I don't have any backpack space. Whoops. I should probably fix that. Ooh. Enemy! I want my level! Give me my level, you jerk! Yay! Level! I'm level three. Boo yeah. Uh, let's go look at our skills. So we've got two skill points to work with. We grab merciless attack for our first skill. Um, we now increase health by an additional fifteen percent. Attacking with a melee weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. Can I get that? Oh, out of reach. I can't get it just yet. Okay. So I need three skill points for that. I need one for this. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll go for Warrior's Path next. We'll get that next level or next whatever. I don't know. I need more metal scraps to make my other stuff. That's kind of the takeaway I'm, or the position I'm in right now, which is mildly annoying. Let's go ahead and re-up our buffs. Just so that we have plenty of health and stamina to work with. And... I guess I'm supposed to be heading towards that tower. I think that's the spire. So let's get going. Oh, shoot. I was going to make a fucking grappling hook. God damn it. I'm smart. That's right. We'll just run. Hopefully I don't need the grappling hook to climb it. We'll find out in a minute, I'm sure. Oh, what is that? <gasps> fireball! Magical ammunition that ignites a fireball erupting upon impact and dealing damage in a small area. Depletes after use. Equip the spell and use mana to cast it with a stab. Okay, so... Ooh, okay. So spells are like a stock item? Damn, someone was watching uh, Final Fantasy VIII when they made this. Uh, loot for some flint stone. Well, let's go check out the spire. Oh, hi. Uh-huh, you missed. That time he did not. He did not miss. Oh. Actually, I didn't even look over here. What's over here? Loot? I see loot. I see traps! Can I do something with said traps? No? That's annoying. Ooh, that's a chest. Um, we'll come 
back for that. Uh, no, I don't want to sleep here. No, that's a bad idea. All right, let's just keep going towards the spire. But how do we get up there? We, oh, I think we might need to go around. Oh, picking up some new materials. Oh, backstab damage. Oh, that's cool. Meat and bones and... Bana! The road is blocked. A grappling hook is required to cross. Well, ain't that a kick in the head. I'm gonna need... a grappling hook, which means I need to find some metal shards, which I don't think I have a lot of those. Uh, three. Crafting. What do I need for a grappling hook? Probably more with more than three with my luck. That That's gonna suck. I guess let's go get a grappling hook. Anybody got a spare grappling hook? Metal shard? Something? It's very good. I mean, I'm picking up all the plant fiber in the meantime, so I guess it's fine. I mean, I guess what happens if you accidentally do what I did and get rid of all of your metal shards. Ow, that one was ready for me. So we've got another shroud area here. Anything inside? Ooh. Hello. That looks like something potentially mineable. Mycelium! Okay, so this is a new... Is this what makes the elixir? Because it would make sense because the elixir is blue, this is blue, mycelium is definitely a fungus. And they absolutely, it looks like they would have had to have dug it up. Okay. So I'm kind of curious now what that's going to do. Mycelium of mushrooms that have been absorbing the magical properties of the shroud. Could this be used for alchemical purposes? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out at some point. Probably not right this second, though. Certainly would be cool to find out. Uh, small flint mine. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I mean, they clearly did not get very far in this mine. All right, well... It looks like there's almost something behind it. Nice. Oh, I just didn't... I didn't realize this. I'm getting experience for mining. At least I think it's going towards my experience, unless it's like a mining level up thing, specifically. Well, either way, I got plenty of Flintstone, which means I could make some of those arrows if I need to. All right, well, that's, that's cool. Uh, anything else neat to see? I was really hoping for more of the raiders. Oh, uh!
You know what? I'm going to try to get across that. Whee! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, that's not going to be far enough, is it? Oh, God. Abort! 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 In deadly shroud! Oh, God. Fuck. Well, we figured out what the red shit is. I can't get that back. I can't get any of that back. Shit. That sucks. <sighs> All right. Well, that's really a problem now because I don't have any more. How much do I need to make the grappling hook? I swear to God, it was three, right? Uh, or is that a crafting thing? Not the, not him, it's the table. Uh, grappling hook. I needed four. All right. I also need shroud spores and string. Okay, so we got our string. We can now finally make a grappling hook. All right. I just got to put it on. Craft or obtain a grappling hook. Okay. All right. All right. So how does that work? I don't know how the grappling hook works. We should probably figure that out. Um, I'm going to go put all the stuff in my box. We're going to do a quick little resty poo. And then I think we're going to go try to figure out um, how a grappling hook works. I'm also going to make some more metal scraps, actually. I should do that, too. And, oh, hi. Hello. What the hell is that? Okay, that was new. Critter parts. Awesome. I'm so glad that I got to see that. Thank you very much for that game. I appreciate that. I would like to burn it with fire. Alright, so... Chest... It's coming up... Here. I wonder what triggers the respawns. Because these all... Everybody's respawned even though I'd already killed them before. But it doesn't seem to be like a day thing unless it's just a longer period than I've seen. Uh, Alright, lockpick. Let's go. Oh, that was fast. Oh, never mind. Battle Star Maze. Wow. Six-edged mace made from heavy metal. The head of this weapon resembles a star. Um, I mean, I'm not going to use it probably because it's a mace. Elite. Mm. Salvage. Get rid of that. You always get more mushrooms. I'm good on that. Thank you. All right, let's get up there. We got our grappling hook now, though, so at least we can get up to where the, the shrine or the spire is. We just need to head on back this way and then grapple up. Oh, I thought, oh, the bees. The bees are coming. Oh no, not the bees. Oh, that's a lot of rabbits. Holy cats. I mean, rabbits. That's okay. We are going to go ahead and grapple our way to freedom! Oh, hi. 
are you doing, sir? Just got him. Nee, 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 nee. Oh shit, you can get up here, can't you? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How do you like that? You can't figure out how to get up here, it's funny. <laughs> ah, no, never mind. He's learning! He's learned! But not enough. Uh, all right, so can I? That, that works. That sort of worked. Really wish I could take their ballistas. Ooh, chest. Alchemist ring. Man of stamina and health. Nice. Imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan's stone-cold finger bone. Mark of a hidden tomb. The stairs inside lead into darkness. Torch in hand, you slip down in uncertainty, into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it family duels? Heirlooms from faraway shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire. The cornerstone to a fortress lay raised from spilled blood. Sound good? I know the rough location. If you take up the search, Gareth, I'll split the goods. Deal? Wait, does did, does it say where that is? I, I I would love to go look. It doesn't look like it, though. I think I... I guess I'm supposed to stumble across it. Uh, let's go hit the spire. Because it looks like this is just going to take us straight up there now. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, it is. But I wonder if... Because the bone's reaching up to the sky. I wonder if the treasure they're talking about is inside the, the spire. Or the treasure they think is in here. Or is there, is in the spire. Maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Um, I'm kind of expecting, like... A boss, which means this might suck. I'm gonna drink some water. Reached an ancient spire in the spring. An ancient spire. All right, so there's more than one. Ooh. Oh, that looks ominous. That's lava. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. This looks rather ominous to me. What else is around here? So it wants you to go down, I guess? Huh. Okay, down we go, I guess. Oh, that sounds like something sharpening a blade almost. Oh, this is getting spooky. So do we enter like an honest to God dungeon? What the hell? Some doors are locked, but can be opened by finding and pressing the correct button. Button! Oh. 
high. Crackling wand. So that's a second one of those I found. All right. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff because I don't need everything. So then what's through here? Where are... Whoa! Oh! Oh, it teleported us up. Hmm. So... Can I get higher up? It sounds like there's something around here doing something. Like, this can't be all there was, can it? Um, well, what was... We had this spot that we could walk up to up here. But there's literally nothing here. Um... Are there other... Spires we can get up into? What happened? Okay, and also, what happens if I try to, to jump out of here? Like, there looks like there's other ways to get into some of these spires. Like, I could get into here, it looks like. Is there anything in this one? No? Okay. So is it only the middle one that's got something in it? Huh. Okay, so what did I miss? Oh, hello. There's a note and a potion. The ancient spire, beacons of light. These spires stretch to the firmament and I entry to those who are unworthy. The ancient breed enters, but I never see them leave. I have two theories. One, the ancient spires are somehow connected to one another, and the silent ones travel between them as they please. Two, the ancient spires serve as a burial site similar to the flame shrine. The ancients store all knowledge of the land and the flame here when they leave the mortal plane. One way or another, I cannot enter. When I step on the ornate plate, nothing occurs. What a shame, Elzar. Okay, so the, we're somehow different from regular people, then. Because we're able to, to go in. So this has got to be what they want me to do. But, like, what in here did they want? Like, is there... Oh, this is going to be stupid, but ineffective. Okay. I, was, I wasn't sure if, like, if I could bash my way through the... through the darn walls or something. Huh. There's got to be some way to do this. What the heck am I missing? Like, if I step in this again, does it take me down? Or does it take me up? Take me up. Takes me right back down. Okay. What am I missing here? We've got all these different, I guess, mini towers that are next to the big one. So, where does it want us to go? Clearly not down, because there's lava. Um, the little towers, as far as I can tell, looks like there's just nothing in them. So I guess we can check the other, what, three? There's something making noise, though. 
when I go in here. And again, it almost sounds like a blade. So, I'm not sure... Wait a second. Can you get up there? What the hell? There's no grapple, right? I don't see one. Ah, there is a grapple! There it is! I don't know how I didn't see that before. That, okay, that's why, what I need to do. I just didn't see the grapple. Cool, um, there we go. That was really silly. Okay, I feel stupid now. Um. Oh, is that what I was hearing? The spikes? I think that's maybe the noise we were hearing. Yeah, it definitely sounds like that. Shing. Okay, so... There's nothing here except another pad that takes me up. As far as I can tell. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll go up. Okay, so up again. Oh, that oh, that's lava. Oh god. <laughs> they playing for keeps. Open that door? No, I can't. So, uh, some buttons maybe out of reach. Shoot them with an arrow. I was actually wondering if I could do that. Boom. Forest longbow. Ooh, okay. It's a shiny. Uh, how does that compare? 10, 15, um... How do I know how much stamina cost it's got? Like, this one's a faster bow. But this one... Huh. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to sit on that one, I guess. I'm not sure if that's going to be any good. It could be good. Uh, let's pull out my sword and shield, just in case I find something I gotta fight. Which is very possible. Um, wait, did this just... My buff's back. Wait, did, where did I... Okay, that's where I started. This is where I needed to go. Got it. Another flame tower! Or... Well, teleport pad in the flame tower. Okay. Um, traps. Okay. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Yeah! Okay, so you gotta run around... I don't know why I didn't get hit by the other one. Open, open. Oh. Okay, there's the other pad. What's through here? Um, okay. Climb up, see if we can find some goodies. Oh, nice. It's over here. Yes! Heal channel. Ooh, a new spell. Magical enemy. Hold the input the channel over time. Um, I, I assume that it heals? I guess? Not sure how I feel about this idea of um, stocked spells. Uh, 
Um, okay, so there's absolutely another thing I can... button I can push to get in there. Okay, I think we're about to find out. Okay, uh, we're about to find out what happens when you fall in lava. Bandages, yes. Good, good call. Good call. Switch. Yes, there is. I want to get that other chest. I hope it's something good. It's a gold chest. The guillotine! Heads plummet to the ground, eyes shut in terror. Victims prefer darkness rather than face the guillotine. Ah, uh, that looks like, uh, I don't know if that's going to be a two-hander or a one-hander, but it looks cool, whatever it is. All right. That kind of looks like a hatchet, but, I mean, with a name like that, it absolutely could be a two-hander. I think that's going to be a two-hander. Oh, yeah! That's a big honking two-hander! Okay, I might want to play with this and see how this works. Whee! I'm going to go hit some bitch in the face with this, and it's going to be great. Oh, are we at the top? I think we are. Oh. Commune with the flame. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Ember Vale. Venture forth, child. The land must be reclaimed. Well, shit. Strengthen the flame. Wow. Oh, it's got a bunch of places it wants me to go now. It's another elixir well. Two elixir wells. Shit, another flame sanctum. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it gave me a bunch of things to go do at this point. Cool. Well, you know what? Let's take a look what we have to, to go look at. So, we got hidden tombs, we got an elixir well, we've got mendled wounds, another flame sanctum. Um, I think the flame sanctum is the marker um, that we saw for new base upgrade stuff. So, I think I kind of want to go check that out. So, but first, let's pop back to the house drop shit off, and then we're going to come back over here and see if I can just how far I can get with a glide. Cool. Okay, hopefully I can make it over there. That might be Woodvale. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, this might be a bad idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, bees. Okay, who's making noise? Hi. Hi, hi, wolfies. Two swings. Not bad. And what's in here? Anything? I should probably just switch to a torch. There we go. That's better. I would love to find a light source that doesn't require that I could like just passively use, as opposed to one I have to carry with me, like I have to equip. Like, let's find a magical miner's lamp. That's what I want. Uh oh. Sellers. Yeah! Yeah, it's rats! Oh my god, the rats! Fucking rats. 
Get out of here, you little bastards. I hear ya. Give me that. Give me that. Cool. Alright, so... There was absolutely nothing in here of... Of note, it looks like. Yeah, nothing. It was just... I could fight rats. Unless... Oh! Never mind! I spoke too soon! Secret passage! Elf pot. Blunt arrows. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Cool. Well, it was worth it. Ah, oh, I thought it was another chest. Another door... That just leads here and doesn't actually... Oh, there's a note. I buried it deep. They came in droves again yesterday. Sunburnt heathens. They twist and mangle their bodies any every time they bow to their gods, their idols, the ancients. Too many mouths to feed. They only want alms. I'll send them back to the Kindle Waste. They won't fool me. I buried my treasure in the fenced lot underneath the small shelter, not far from here. They won't find it when it's hidden beneath the mud. Tonight, I'll sleep deep. Well, unfortunately, you're dead, so... Uh, apparently, there's some treasure. We should go look for it, because clearly he won't be able to use it anymore. Stupid wolf. Alright. Oh man, these wolves just killed shit like crazy. Alright. I guess I'll get the fur and everything off of the goats. Um, alright, so it wants me just a little bit behind the shelter. Is this the shelter? I think it is. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I think it was. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's the that looks like a treasure chest to me. Hunter's bow. Nice. Okay. I mean we don't really need it, but it's cool. All right, well, let's keep going towards uh, that spot that we saw on the map. Uh, ooh, that's a flame thing. Cool checkpoint. Woodguard. All right, we are at... This is absolutely Woodguard. All right. And so we just got to keep heading south, it looks like. A refuge. A small caravan of refugees arrived today from the Kindle Waste, a long journey. I've never been good with strangers, but there was no time to tattle. I dro dove into work, dressing the wounds, a battle for life and death even now. Badly, some lost. We put them to rest in the crypt below. May the northern winds guide them to the afterlife. There's one who might live despite it all. A deep leg wound, but maybe not too far gone. The wounded, Salim, smiles a lot, says he owes me his life. Just luck, I think. Right, well... Ooh, what the hell? What is that? Hi. You look really mean. Ow! Got him. Bones and salt. Mine every valuable material in the Springlands. Oh, okay. So 
I guess we're almost done with this region. It's also daytime now. A new season. The new arrivals have wasted no time breaking ground, building something. Their determination is fanatical. A flame sanctum, Salim says. Some nights I've lingered near the caravan. Salim insists. Over the fire they talk of their home, the sands, and the creeping ruin. So much sorrow. Salim says, I am like a daffodil, the first sign of spring. The fool. It was a sweet one. Yeah, kind of. It's unfortunate the world is basically doomed. Um, right, we need to go this way to get out of town. Go ahead and eat myself some more berries. Now let's get the hell out of here. Here come the bees. Flint. There's tons of flint you can mine. Uh, I'm going to grab some of these for more fiber so that I can make more bandages as I go. Ooh, berries. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, bees. My bad! And I guess we're just going to keep walking up this way. Oh, more berries. Berries are nice just for when I'm walking for healing. They're just super useful for that. Also, that's new. Is that corn? Dude, it is. Corn cob, plus three. All right. So what can I do with corn? Um, Plus one strength. Oh, it's another buff. Ah, the bees! <laughs> I heard the bus. <laughs> the bees are the scariest thing in this damn game right now. Like, hands down. That is some scary ass shit. Um That's that's a that that's a dude. That's a dude. Go boom! Go boom! Go boom! Yeah! I got him! Okay, so the axe isn't bad. More metal scraps, good, because I need those. Oh, I got the I got the crossbow, dude. Good. Okay, why wasn't it not blocking? That was weird. Thank you. It sometimes it's like it doesn't accept input sometimes. Like you can't. You can't start blocking when you're in the middle of getting hit. You just are going to get hit. And it kind of sucks that way. Oh, this is like a mine. Hello. You hyper-focused for like 10 hours and didn't even notice your hip was hurting. Ooh, ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better, though. I'll delete the stone... Mm, I should have dropped more of this stuff off. I really should have. Actually, can I use up any... Yeah, let's use up some of that to get a food buff. Thank you. Uh, you feel that? Well, I, I thought you were showing solidarity, Echo. I didn't realize it was a joke. My bad. Oh, shit. Wailing Blade. That. That. Whoa. No, don't, don't salvage. Don't salvage, Tucci. <gasps> it's just a straight sword. Nice. Oh, that's an awesome pickup. Okay, this was a really good place to show up. All right, I'm going to have to come back and, like, loot a ton of crap in here. I'm sorry, I'm not smart. If there was a joke in, a joke that was said, I did not understand it because I'm not very smart. Okay, that was really cool getting that stash.
Wait, are you talking about the thing you first said when you showed up? I it's time I to a sir. I a sir cha. I'm I'm confused. I'm sorry. I'm not smart. In, in case I haven't said that enough times in the last five minutes. There's a reason I'm still in school. It didn't work because I mispronounced your name. Whoops. I'm sorry. My bad for having a having my name said a different way. <laughs> my fault. Alright, I think that this is where I'm supposed to go. Squirrel! Oh, okay. You thought my name was pronounced differently. That's why you did it that way. Got it. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh god, no more not more peace! Come on, leave me alone. Go go attack the rabbit. Stupid bees. We're almost there though. We're like, we're getting there quickly. I think it's going to be in whatever this area up ahead is. I would love to have a real shield, though, at some point. I also can't wait until I upgrade this sword more. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Farm? Peaceful Acres. Okay, so can you, like, do farming? I, I, I will, though. Okay, this is a pretty good sword. I do like having tons of fiber. Fiber makes it so I can make my friggin' bandages and not die. Also, my food buffs appear to have worn out. And, and my water buff, actually, too. I'll have to put that back on in a minute. Oh, no. Do I hear bees? Oh, my God. The bees are back! Die, bees! Kill the wrath of my sword! Got him. Uh, in which case, your joke would look really smart, but instead I look like an idiot. No, you don't look like an idiot. You just didn't know. I'm the idiot. That's my shtick. Flint ammo. Sure. All right, so this is not where we needed to be, but we're getting closer. Hello, Wofo. I'm absolutely going to get this um, sword stronger. Like, what's the... 14 damage? Okay, so yeah, it's not as... It's definitely a lot less damage than this, but... When I get it fully upgraded, it's going to have an additional 10 damage from a bunch of different sources. In addition to whatever it gets... Um, from leveling up itself. Before we invented bug spray, the age of the shroud, we fought the bees with swords like real men. We may not have always won, but we died trying. Bees are bros. Bees are bros, except when they try to kill me. Like, I legit just, just want to go. Um, oh, okay, we got to get up really high then. I don't know if we can get to that sanctum without doing some really funky crap, unless... Because it is straight up that way. Unless, actually... Is there something... Is that a inlet in the wall I saw? These are bros, unlike last the assholes of the bug world. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Ah, there is a... It looks like there's a ramp up. Okay, I just didn't see the ramp. I keep doing that. I keep not seeing a way up.
I think. Maybe? Yes, yes, there is. You've had wasp living in your walls twice. That is that is twice too many, Echo. That is a lot too many. I am not going to go into the giant cave because that looks dangerous. I'm going to continue where I'm going up, up the path. I had a wasp nest last year that they built a fucking nest directly above my front door. I ended up in the dead of summer getting on all of my best winter gear so I could cover myself, including a face mask, a hoodie, everything, and went out into my yard at night and shot wasp spray at it from about 20 paces. And I was like, I don't want to do this. Okay, so we are in the Flame Sanctum. I don't know what this gets us, though. Um, These lovers sought refuge in the flame, but it warms them no longer. Offer its spark at the flame altar in your home. My dearest Helen, please hold your tears and sit by my side. Let us gaze over the Mount Valley as we've done before. The setting sun and falling leaves are like our brief and precious time. Let us share these hours before they're swept away by the shroud. Come rest your head on my shoulder, my daffodil. Yours forever, Aline. Aww. So wait, was was Helen the doctor that took care of Salim? Well, that's really fucking sad. Aww. Another spark, very nice. So... I need to, I guess, figure out how to get all the stuff. Like, I don't know where to get resin. That's my biggest problem. Is if I could figure out how to get resin exactly, I could absolutely upgrade my flame. Um, let's go ahead and ditch. What do I want to ditch? Let's ditch the... Actually, you know what? I could turn those into arrows before I get rid of them, right? Yeah. Or just turn them all into arrows. That that works. Because I hate to leave whatever this is behind. Uh, mana potion. Cool. All right. Well, you know what? Let's head back to the base and see if we can figure out how to get resin so that we can do the upgrades. Because we've got all the stuff to do upgrades except for resin. Because all my fucking resin is on my corpse over there that I can't go get. Because apparently they filled that entire valley with sarin nerve gas. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm still annoyed that I did that. I didn't even realize what was going on. You're bigoted towards wasps. Wasps do kind of suck. Ooh. Oh, you got something else to say. What do you got to say, dude? Bye. The Wailing... Oh, he's going to talk about the sword I found. You claim the Wailing Blade? I forged it for her grasp before she left me. Fine. You may weld it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart, Flameborn. It's what my daughter would want. Oh. Oh, this was his kid's sword? Oh, shit. Also got a level. What do we need to enhance this sucker? Oh, nice. Okay, so, like, an extra two... Oh. Didn't it say plus two blunt? Uh, plus two damages before? Is this, like, gonna scale up and level? If it is, it's gonna be awesome. But we got a level, which means we can do... some skill stuff. I wanted to see about... getting this... 10% extra damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then what else do we got in here? After defeating a shroud infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish plus five seconds of shroud time. Ooh. Strength uh, increases melee damage by 5% per attribute point. Hmm. Blunt by an additional 10. Blunt damage. Wow. Okay. I do love the skill tree idea. 
Like, these are really cool. We're going to go ahead and just get more strength, because more damage is great. And then we got to get resin. So let's go ahead and dump off some of our inventory. We've got a lot of it. And then I guess let's figure out how we're going to get resin. I thought I got resin off of trees before, but I'm not sure anymore. I make any room for any of this stuff? Doesn't look like it. I can cook some food. And clean up some inventory space. Well, thankfully, we don't see a whole lot of wasps around here. Um, they tend to leave us alone, in my experience. Which is really nice. Like, they don't screw with us, we don't screw with them, that kind of stuff. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, you know what we could do? We could also see about making um, making those new axes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Felling axe. I need string and shroud wood. I think I've got... And what do I need for the other one? For the pickaxe. Same thing. Shroud wood. I think I've got a couple of shroud wood sitting in one of my boxes. Um, I can absolutely make some string. String is absolutely our most used resource for anything in this game. Shroud wood is there. Cool. That's enough. That was it, right? Felling axe. Yes, please. Pick axe. Thank you. So now that means I can go into my backpack and I can get rid of these. Delete. Delete. Because they are not useful anymore. Nice. Let's go see if we can find some resin. Um, I feel like the resin's got to come out of pine trees. I just don't know if that's a random drop or if it's something else. I'm going to start with these little tiny trees here because those are absolutely pine trees. Give me some resin. Let's see any. Wait, what? what's trying to kill me? There's something trying to kill me. That was some, that's some battle music there. What's going on? I'm just trying to freak me out. Um, I guess we could try some of these other trees, too. I would think that the sap would come off of pine trees, though. This pine sap, oh, never mind. Resin. The resin comes off of, uh, regular trees, or is it just the big trees? Oh, that's a bee. Oh, God. Leave those alone. Please don't. Please don't kill me, bee. I don't mean it. I'll leave you tree alone. I think I need five resin. Uh, okay, so let's actually focus on the big giant trees. Like these big suckers. Yeah, the ones that like take my entire bar. Yeah, a couple of resin. Oh, that's I. That might be enough now. Do I have? I have six. I have six. We can strengthen the flame. I think. What other things do I need? I need red mushrooms and bones and animal fur. All right, let's go get those. Um, so let's stick some of this here. Animal fur. And we need the mushrooms. Nice. Okay, so what does this do? Gain global effects. Nice. Okay, alter activation capacity goes up. I don't know what that does. 
Uh, so at passage level, so I assume that means I get... No, passage level... Does that mean I can go into deeper shrouds? Like, stronger shrouds? What does that mean? The spark of knowledge has erupted within. Ready yourself to unveil the secrets of our past. Find the two ancient obelisk of the Springlands to learn the world's fate. Story of rot and fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. Okay, two new markers. And what do I need to do to get more? Um. Oh, I actually have most of this. I just don't have whatever this is. Scavenger matron. Scavengers, I think, are the enemies we keep fighting for the scraps. Um, but, like, I can get a lot of this other stuff. Oh, but you need five sparks. Jesus, never mind. My glow and warmth reach further into the darkness. Thanks to you, Flameborn. I am strong enough to protect your home should you choose to expand it. I need shroud cores for that, though, unfortunately. So new flame altar and base improvements. So like our base improvements just like is it just yeah all right so this is just shit I can build all right um as opposed to new crafting options I think yeah I can't I can. Make some. I, I can make stuff, but it's not really changing the things I can make, unfortunately. And uh, he doesn't seem to have changed his tune at all. That's okay. That's fine. What did I need to make the armor from you? Be more resin. Literally resin. What I need. Three, two, one. So if I get enough resin, I need... One, two, three, four. If I get four resin, I can actually make um, the pants, the, the helmet, and the shirt. Let's do that. All right. Um, whoops. My bad. Let's go get some resin. All right. Now that I know where it is or where to find it, that's awesome. I really gotta start building more chests, though. Like, that's that's something I absolutely need more of. So let's get a couple of trees, because I think you get, like, what, two per? Oh, actually, I think I just got four from that one. Uh, I think I just need maybe, like, one more. And then I'll have another tier of um, armor. Um, okay, that was not any resin for me, unfortunately. I'm going to have so much wood, I'm not going to, like, need wood for a while. Uh, that did not drop any resin, did it? Uh, oh, this is, I was looking at the wrong tree type. This is the tree type that does resin. It's these big ones that have the little tiny, um, branches off the side. And actually, now that I realize, these are pine trees. Like, they're big pine trees, like red pines and stuff like, like, stuff like that. So, okay, cool. So that should be enough resin that we can go ahead and make our armor. And metal armor is going to be very, very helpful, I think, right? Um, no slots in backpack. God damn it. Every time. Every friggin' time. Right, let's go ahead and put our stuff away. Put that in there. Hunter's bow. Hunter's bow. I don't think I have anything else for that. Let's go ahead and put supplies away. Which is going to be wood. And then... Honestly, we'll leave that alone. We'll put other stuff away too, but... It's got to be another chest. I want to try to keep things relatively organized, but we can make ourselves a helmet, a chest piece, and trousers. So let's go ahead and put all that on. 
Hell yeah, which means I can go ahead and... Oh, you can't salvage these? That's a shame. Wait a second. 15. How much does this... Oh, this just gives more... Oh, uh, this gives more... This gives more physical, but less magical. But it also gives me a crap ton of health. Never mind. Um, we're going to leave these on. Yeah. Oh, wow. And critical... St I didn't realize these things gave me benefits, too. Okay, this is way, way better at this point. Okay. So, yeah, looking good. Looking good, Tucci. And I just need a real fucking shield. And I am good to go. I'm happy with this. Sorry to charge in a friggin' battle the way we're going. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good start. We got ourselves, um, we figured out how to get to the tower. Um, we got ourselves a kick ass new weapon. Got some new armor, a um, bunch of exploration taken care of. We got our fucking grappling hook. And uh, we're kind of figuring things out. We still got a lot to do, a lot to go. I still don't think that we can get into that that really dangerous area that's way out there where I died, unfortunately. Um, but, I mean, we can always check that out at some point. But I think that this is probably going to be a good spot for us to, to call it for this particular episode. We we got some definitely some different tasks to take a look at. We're going to go after the Alchemist and the Hunter coming up, as well as do other exploration like more Elixir Wells. Um, but that'll be for next time. So everyone, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, hope to see you next time.